Hello everyone, today we are going to creating an interesting text animation in Adobe After Effects. We'll start by creating a composition. I'll go with the standard Full HD, 4 seconds in length. I'll disable the transparency option here. Now, using the text tool, we'll add some text. I'll type Absolute but you can adjust the font and other settings according to your preferences. Next, we'll center the text. Now, we'll turn the text into a pre-composition. I'll enter it and change the resolution by selecting composition settings and setting the height to 250 pixels. In the project panel, we need to find this composition and duplicate it. I'll rename the original to text1 and the duplicate to text2. Then we drag text2 onto the timeline. You can change the text inside it to anything you like. Let's go back to the main composition. We'll add the CC Repetile effect to the first text layer. And set up and down to 1500 to repeat the text and fill the entire composition. We'll copy this effect onto the second text layer as well. Now, we'll link text2 to text1. I'll animate the position parameter so the text moves from top to bottom. I want the text to be in the same place at the beginning and end of the animation, so I press Ctrl plus R, drag a ruler under the text, and position Absolute in the same spot in the last frame. This ensures the animation looks smooth. Next, we'll create a new composition from these two text layers. We'll add the CC Scale Wipe effect. First, we set direction to 180 degrees. Then, position the center under the word Power. But first, we set Stretch to 90. And then, place the center under Power. We duplicate the CC Scale Wipe effect, change direction to zero, and move the center over the word Absolute. The text is almost ready. I'll create another precomposition. duplicate it. We'll add the fill effect. And choose a color. Next, we'll apply CC white time, which creates a motion blur effect. I set the white time parameter to 2 On this composition, I create a mask in the center of the text Then, I change the mask mode to subtract which makes the blue text invisible in that area Finally, I set mask feather to 50 and that's it. Support me by subscribing, leaving a like, and dropping a comment. See you next time. Blast off.